Fresh off the endorsement for former President Obama, Vice President Harris is expected to soon make more news with the decision on who her running mate will be. National correspondent Atra al Nashar has a look at who she's considering and how they could change the dynamics of the race. Less than a week into her presidential campaign, Vice President Kamala Harris now has to choose the person she thinks should fill her current job. Her list looks to be comprised mostly of Democratic governors. There's also two cabinet secretaries and a senator. Aware of their potential, many of them making an effort to show face on the airwaves. I am honored uh, to be considered. She's going to make uh, a decision that's the right decision for her, for the party, and for the country. Kamala Harris is going to prosecute the case against Donald Trump better than anybody I know. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro is believed to be a top contender. With strong approval ratings in the swing state, both parties see as a must win in November. I think it's probably a fairly bipartisan consensus that whoever wins Pennsylvania wins presidency. Shapiro already getting involved in the Harris campaign, hosting a volunteer kickoff this weekend. Arizona Senator Mark Kelly also believed to be a top choice, keeping a lower profile. Would you accept it? Again, this is not about me. This is about the future of this country. Something Kelly would bring to the table is his record on immigration. Coming from a border state, he's taken a more aggressive stance than most of his fellow Democrats on the issue that Republicans are using to attack Harris. If Harris is looking for a running mate who can help deliver a swing state, then the list starts to narrow to folks like Senator Kelly of Arizona, which carries 11 electoral votes, or Governor Shapiro of Pennsylvania, which carries 19. Then there's Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, where there's 15 electoral votes at play. Now, Whitmer is a co-chair of the Harris campaign, but she does not appear willing to leave her governorship. I am not interested in doing anything other than this job for the next two and a half years. Thrust into the race with just over 100 days until Election Day, Harris's timeline to vet and choose a running mate is already compressed. And thanks to Ohio's unique early ballot deadlines, Harris is pressed to make the decision by August 7th. In Washington, I'm Atrel Nishar reporting.